Okay, welcome to another episode from Hackology. In tonight's episode, we're going to be looking at WEP, uh, wireless password cracking. Uh, so for this test environment, I've set up a router here. I'm just going to unplug this. Um, this is set to um, WEP wireless access. This computer here is connected to this router, and um, we're going to crack the password. Now, um, start at the back track and log in with start x to boot the GUI. So, once backtrack's loaded, the first thing you're going to need to do is boot up um, a terminal window. And from yesterday's um, lesson, you remember we did airmon-ng um, start VLAN 0. And then we're going to do air o dump dash ng space um, uh, willan zero. Okay, and now we should have the uh, the network available to us. So I'm just going to quit from air and we're going to look onto the channel, and we're going to do minus c on air o dump. So air o dump minus c. Six, and uh, we're going to do the uh, dash dash bssid, and that is the MAC uh, address of the router. Six two. Okay, so uh, we've got error dump dash c six bssid zero one eight whatever. <coughs> And we want uh, dash w to write the file out, and we're going to call this capture.psk. And we'll run that now on. Um, we'll run that. <coughs> and now you can see we've got the router MAC address showing up uh, at the top as the access point, and we can see that there's a client connected here. So next, start up another terminal window and we shall fake authentication with the server. Okay. okay, so the next command you're going to need to run is air replay dash 9, which is for the fake authentication, dash e netgear, which is the um, BSS ID of the router, and dash a for the MAC address of the router, followed by the um, wireless device we're running the command on which is WLAN 0 so press enter and uh, if it's successful as you can see here we've now got hundreds of clients appeared on the network and we've also um, we've also faked authentication with the server so next thing to do is to get hold of the key we're going to do that by using air replay again dash one zero which is unlimited d auth requests to the router dash e followed by the SSID of the router we're attacking which is Netgear in this case dash a the MAC address of the uh, access point dash h followed by the MAC address of the host that we're attacking followed by the interface that you wish to run this on so press enter and you've got all that and hopefully it won't fail right okay so it says sending authentication I've run the wrong command No, nope, I haven't run the wrong command. Okay, so we've got authentication successful. That means that's good. Okay, so we faked authentication, the network thinks we're a valid user, and now we're going to de auth the other client from the network with the air replay dash 3 um, dash b with the um, BSS MAC address dash h with the client address, and we're running it on WLAN 0. So we we'll press enter here. And you can see it's sending packets to the network now. And here we should see the data start going up as soon as it starts doing its business. So if I've got everything on. Okay, so the next command we're going to run is the aircrack command, which is aircrack-ng 
and dash B with the BSS ID MAC address of the router that we're hacking and capture.psk PSK, star.cap which are the capture files that we've uh, captured. So now uh, we run this. If this fails the first time we run it, it doesn't matter because at the moment we're capturing more data and when we run it later um, it will work. It just depends on how many, ta how many oh, IVs we've captured. If um, we've captured enough IVs, the brute force method will crack the password. If we haven't, we just need to capture some more. Okay, once Aircrack's uh, finished working through the IVs that you've collected, um, it'll be presented with a key that's um, with colons in the middle, match the case, and put it into the passphrase and the um, connection option on Windows, and you'll be on your target network. Now, hacking networks is illegal, and we, we don't condone it. Uh, this was all done in a test environment with my own router. Um, keep out of trouble, have fun hacking, and we'll be back soon.